Hey family, today's video is sponsored by First Choice Phlebotomy Service. If you're ever in the Arizona market, please look them up. And again, thank you First Choice for sponsoring today's video. Hey, hey, welcome back my YouTube family. Good to see you again. Listen, if you're new to this channel, Make sure you please subscribe, share, hit the notification button so you can see our new videos. Also, this is a YouTube channel. We're gonna talk about fashion, finances, how it relates to police, as well as social intelligence. Today's topic, family, is just a follow-up on last month's topic. We're going to talk about stop and frisk as it relates to the Fourth Amendment. Now, a very important case law I want you to follow. 1968, Terry versus Ohio. That was a Supreme Court case that basically set the grounds for stop and frisk. Additionally, I'm gonna give you two examples that will help us out with this scenario. Number one, let's say you're walking down the street, there are no issues, life is good. A police officer can actually walk up to you and engage, have a conversation. That's okay. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The second scenario I want you guys to understand. You're walking down the street, police officer stops you, frisks you for no apparent reason. Family, keep this in mind. In order for a stop to be lawful, police officer must clearly articulate reasonable suspicion. In other words, he must say, I believe that a crime has been committed or a crime is in the process of being committed. Now, a little caveat to this. In New York, there's, there's been a lawsuit. Under Michael Bloomberg, there were over 5 million stop and frisk scenarios. Over 80% of the stops were involving African American or Hispanic people, people of color. Again, over 80% of the stops, the individuals were innocent and they were not arrested. So let's just recap. Stop and frisk, 1968, that's the case law. A police officer observed a couple of individuals basically casing the joint, casing the store, and he assumed they would be robbed. He stopped the individuals, frisked them, he found weapons on their person. This case law was upheld in the United States Supreme Court. So 1968, Terry versus Ohio, that's our baseline. Again, you're walking down the street. If a police officer cannot articulate reasonable suspicion, you're okay with that, all right? You cannot be stopped, all right? Good to see you guys again. Listen, later on today, we're actually gonna have a special guest. We're gonna do a Wall Street section again. I'm really looking forward to it. See you guys soon. Hey, hey welcome back, YouTube family, Facebook family. It's good to see you guys. Listen, this is the Wall Street section that we've been talking about in the past. This is a section where I like to highlight a special talent in Arizona. Today, I have a very special talent. His government name is Jared, but his stage name is Kid Finesse. So Kid Finesse, what do you do, man? Talk to the people, what do you do? Um, I'm an 11th grader at Gilbert Classical Academy. Um, I play basketball and I just started picking up this rapping thing that I've wanted to do for a long time, but for um, this summer was the first time I decided to go into the studio and make a song. So I was talking to your dad and he said, you got this talent that's just amazing. He's been talking about you for the past three months, just really talking about the talent. Who's your inspiration? Like what rapper has inspired you? Um, I'm inspired by Drake. I know it's kind of stereotypical, but I'm inspired by Drake and um, Juice World for the reasons that they've made songs for so long to get to the point that they were at. Yeah. And at the end of it, they all thank the people that, you know, helped them like their parents. And I found them pretty inspirational. So I felt like if they could do it, I could do it too. Okay, all right. There's no doubt in my mind you can do it. I mean, I'm, I'm super impressed with you. I'm gonna put you on the spot though. Can you drop something? Uh, I can, I can play something I haven't released yet. Whatever you want to do. If you want to drop something, if you want to play something, whatever you want to do. Should I play through the Phone? Yeah, you want to play it through your phone, whatever you want to do. So where can people find you if they want to take a look at your music? Um, you can find me on Instagram at Jared underscore Finesse underscore Kid. And then on SoundCloud, if you type in Finesse Kid parentheses Jared Kennedy, 
you can find me there too and on apple music and spotify as well okay so three pl three places people can find you yes okay family make sure you support this new artist because every artist started out some way they started out an uh, interview like this they started out you know in their mom's basement they started out at the church somewhere they started out so you're going to get the first sample here please support kid from that family please support him what you got I'm way up, too blessed, too high, who not, who shot, step in the party, I'm rapping that goo wide, big drip, cause I'm way up, too blessed, too high, who not, who shot, step in the party, I'm rapping that what, step in the party, I'm rapping that Louis Go. Alright, uh, you got mom dancing in the background, <laughs> you got pop boogers here, I love it, I love it, hey, kid from this, man, thank you, man, thank you for coming out. We're definitely gonna share this with the people. Is there anything that you want your fans to know about you, what you do, you know, what, what, what do you want people to know about you? Um, at the end of the day, I work hard and I thank God for all of the blessings that he's given me. And I just wanna to continue to work hard, keeping school a priority, basketball then, and then keep making music too, so. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you this, when you blow up and be a success, and making millions of dollars, will you come back out and hang out with me? Of course. All right, we got another video. He'll come back and hang out with me. Get for that. Thanks, man. Thanks for coming out. All right, family. See you guys soon.